Our main task in this lesson is to discount the cash flows we've obtained earlier. Why is this necessary? Well, this is the basis for obtaining the present value of the project and deciding whether to go through with it, comparing it with other investment alternatives the company might have. Perfect. We need three things to perform this exercise. The project's cash flows we obtained earlier, its terminal value, and the weighted average cost of capital calculated in our previous video. Or do we? Actually, here's a confession. We released this exercise earlier and discounted net cash flows with WAC. This isn't correct from a technical standpoint. Please remember that. Whenever the cash flows you are discounting are the ones going to shareholders, you need to discount them by the cost of equity. It is incorrect to discount by WAC because interest expenses have already been taken into consideration in a net cash flow. So, to wrap it up, when discounting cash flows going to equity holders, we use cost of equity. And to discount cash flows to the firm, we use WAC. In this case, we will use cost of equity. Perfect. Okay, all of the inputs you see here are easily copied to this sheet. Please note that the residual value in this cell is net of the outstanding loan in year 10. So, all of these values are ready to be discounted. Do you remember how we do that? The cash flow obtained in a given year is divided by 1 plus the discount rate, which is the cost of equity in our case, raised to the power of the number of years we are from the future. So, the first cash flow will be discounted by 1 plus cost of equity to the power of 1. The second cash flow by 1 plus the cost of equity to the power of 2, and so on. To obtain the present value of the project's residual value, we'll discount by 1 plus the cost of equity to the power of 10, as the residual value shows us the project's worth at the end of the 10th year. Perfect! Now that we've discounted all future cash flows and obtained their present value, we are ready to apply several methods, which will give us an indication whether the project makes sense from a financial perspective. Stay tuned for our next lesson, where we'll apply the NPV and IRR techniques, and we'll also perform sensitivity analysis.